Hi, in this video we are going to talk about geometric meaning. At the end of this lesson, the student should be able to correctly insert geometric means between two terms of a geometric sequence and accurately solve word problems involving geometric meaning. So when we say geometric means, it's just the same with, uh, it has the same concept with arithmetic mean. Okay, so geometric means are terms between any two given terms of a geometric sequence. Example, given the geometric sequence 2, 4, 8, 16, the numbers 4 and 8 are called geometric means between 2 and 16. So this 4 and 8, so these are the terms between 2 and 16. So they are called geometric means. Let's have an example. If we insert three geometric means, between tatlong geometric means, ay insert natin between 1 and 81, what is the middle mean to be inserted? So, tatlo yan. Take note that geometric mean between any two positive numbers, A and B, is the square root of their product. So, that is the square root of A times B. So, for this example, since tatlong geometric means ang hahanapin natin between 1 and 81, so we have 5 terms. So, we have 1, blank, 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 and then 81. So, we are looking for this 3 geometric means. And finally, what's the middle mean? So, ano itong nandito? Alright? So, sabi niya, the geometric mean between any two positive numbers I the square root of their product. So if we look for this, if we look for the middle mean, it means that we are looking for the square root of 1 and 81. Okay? So that is geometric mean between 1 and 81. So that's the square root of 1 times 81. And of course, that's the square root of 81. And that gives us 9. So meaning, C9, I am middle mean. So, if we want to solve for the other geometric means for this, so we need to solve for the square root of 1 and 9. Okay? So, that would be the geometric mean between 1 and 9. We have the square root of 1 times 9. And that gives us square root of 9 and that's 3. So, meaning ito dito, this is 3. Okay? So, this is, uh, yung kanina, this is 9 right here. Right? So, if we still want to solve for the geometric mean um, here, so that's between 9 and 81, so we are solving for the square root of 9 times 81. Okay, 9 times 81. So, that gives us square root of 729, and that's 27. So, meaning yung nandito is 27. Okay, 27. So, therefore, the three geometric means between 1 and 81 are 3, 9, and 27. And the middle mean is 9. Another example. Given negative 4, a sub 2, a sub 3, 500 as consecutive terms of geometric sequence. Find a sub 3. So we are looking for the third term. And the third term um, is actually one of the two geometric means between negative 4 and 500. So how do we do that? By the way, yung previous, um, this previous method, this is only good for um, odd, odd numbers ng geometric terms. So let's say if we are looking for um, three geometric, ter uh, geometric means, if we are looking for one geometric means, if we are looking for five geometric means, and so on. Uh, we are looking for odd numbers of geometric means. So we can use this process, use this technique. Okay? However, um, like number two, we are looking for even number of geometric means. So we have here, we are looking for two geometric means. Um, halimbawa pag 4 geometric means. So, we cannot use this process. Okay? Um, hence, we are going to use um, another method. Okay? And that is, uh, we have to follow these, ter uh, these steps. So, first, we have to identify the order of the last term. The order, meaning pang ilang term yung last term. 
So from the given problem, there are four terms. So n is equal to 4. Identify the first term and the last term. So in uh, the example, we have the first term is negative 4. The second, uh, I'm sorry, the last term is 500. And n is 4 because there are four terms. 1, 2, 3, and 4. All right. And then we are going to solve for the common ratio by substituting a sub 1, a sub n, and n to the uh, general term of the geometric sequence. Okay. So a sub n, that's the last term, that's 500. Yung first term natin, a sub 1 is negative 4. Of course, yung r is still r because that's what we are looking for. And n is 4 minus 1. So 4 minus 1 is 3. So that uh, gives us 500 equals negative 4 r raised to 3. And then we are going to solve this equation. Of course, we are going to take uh, to, to get rid of negative 4. So I divide natin yan both sides. Right? So that gives us, ito na siya. So 500 divided by negative 4. That gives us negative 125 equals, cancel dyan. Ito, cancel dyan. So we have here r cubed or r to the power of 3. Now to get rid of 3 here, okay, para matanggal yan, we need to extract the cube root of negative 125. Okay? So our cube root, or we raise it to the exponent 1 over 3. Okay? Or sa calculator ninyo, you can just look for the cube root in your calculator. Mamaya ito papakita ko ano itsura ng function ng cube root sa calculator. Okay? So, raising negative 125 to one-third, meaning that's the cube root of negative 125. Okay? So, you can solve this using your calculator. And um, you will get negative 5 as the value of R. Right, so meaning the common ratio is negative 5. Ito yung itsura ng cube root. So, for k show calculators that looks like this, um, we have here, ito siya ang square root. Okay? Sa um, second function niyan ay ang yung, uh, yung ito siya o. Oh. Yan, yung cube root. So, we have here 3. Okay? Uh, the root is 3, so cube root. Ayan. So, um, for you to, to use this function, the second function, you need to press shift first and then this function. Okay? And that will give you the cube root of uh, the function. And if you have a calculator just like this one, the cube root is right here. So, again, it's uh, this is x to the power of 3. And so, the cube root, is um, the second function. So you need to press shift first and then this one, okay, to get the cube root. So let's continue with the step. Uh, we had the common ratio is negative 5. So again, we are looking for uh, the, the two geometric means. So ibig sabihin yung common ratio na negative 5, i-multiply lang natin yun sa negative 4 to get the next term. And multiply sa negative 5 to get the next term, and so on. Okay? So, that would be, right? So, multiplying the common ratio to each term to get the next terms, the resulting geometric sequence is negative 4 yung first term, and then times negative 5, that gives us positive 20, times negative 5, that, that gives us negative 100, times negative 5, that gives us 500. So, meaning a sub 3 equals negative 100. And this is the answer to the problem. Right, so I want you to copy and answer this in your notebook. So, letter, um, yeah, the instruction is insert the indicated number of geometric means between each pair of numbers. So, like number 1. So, you have to insert two arithmetic means between 2 and 54. So, hint dito, you cannot use the first method because we are looking for even number of geometric means. So, you can, you have to use the second method wherein you're going to solve for R. Okay? The second one, or number 2, you need to insert 
one geometric mean between 5 and 80. Dito naman you can use the first step. And this is very easy. Number 3, insert 3 geometric means between negative 1 fifth and negative 125. So here you can use either of the two methods. You can use the first one or you may also use the second method. Alright, so copy and answer this in your notebook and send me your answer via a messenger.